So people, I am back with another Outriders video and today I'm going to bring you a lowdown on how to mod and craft and upgrade gear and basically in all you need to know about this system in Outriders. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. It really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so crafting is a massive part of Outriders. Upgrading weapons, upgrading armor, we all love to do it. And there's a great system in this game for it. Now, you actually have to unlock this crafting system. And you do that via rescuing this dude right here. So once you start the game, you'll be at the Rift Camp. If you play the demo, uh, that's basically where you're at. Uh, you'll then progress onto the last city. Once you get to the last city, you'll then prompt to rescue this dude. Once you rescue him, he will then be your go-to crafting dude. You can only craft via this dude right here, Dr. Sahidi. Now, obviously, when you progress further on into the game, this will be your permanent vendor. He will follow and travel with you. So come to this dude and you'll see at the very top of his options, you'll see right there, I need to upgrade my gear. So once you get into this menu, it's pretty straightforward. We have your, your gear on the left, the item you'll want to craft right here and the crafting options. So we'll start with, let's just start with this epic weapon, why not? You can see this epic, as you probably know, epics in this game, like legendaries, have two mod slots. Rares have one mod slot. Greens have no mod slots. Same with armor as well. Got no epic armor at the moment, but rares have one, epics have two, legendaries have two. So as we can see here, crafting options on the weapons, we have improved rarity. Now I will say, Epic is the highest you can upgrade to. You can't upgrade to a legendary, no matter what it is, weapon or armor. Epic is the highest you can upgrade it to. Yes, you can take a green to a rare to a epic. You can do that. So let's just quick, quick demonstration. To do this, you'll go to improve rarity. You can see this right here. It takes 50 of my beautiful titaniums. And as you can see, it adds that one extra mod slot, upgrades its firepower and so forth but we ain't gonna do that because I ain't upgrading any rares today. So back to the epic. So here we can also see we can erase its attributes. Here we have crit damage and healing received. As you can see right here, it's two attributes. All weapons have two different ones. Here we can see it costs 42 crit damage shards. To see how many shards you have, come down to here and you can see I have 269 crit damage shards. Healing receive shards, I have 42, it's red, so I can't do it. That's because I only have people 41. I have four, I need one more, one more. You can also see guys, we have six upgrade slots. So I can upgrade this six times. Same with this, and same with every other weapon and armor piece. You can only upgrade six times. Yeah, some of these may have already been upgraded three times. You just could be lucky there. You can also see as well, this upgrades it from a 12 to a 13%. I uh, can't see what this one does, but 1%, I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. It's not too bad, I guess. But yes, that's basically raising its attributes. It's pretty straightforward. On to then modding gear. Actually, back to raising attributes. Um, these shards themselves, guys, I'm pretty certain you get them via, say, this weapon here, if I dismantled it. I would receive crit damage and healing receive shards. I'm pretty certain that's the way it is. Don't, don't quote me on that, though. It, may work slightly differently but i think that just might be the way it works but we'll see as we progress it's early days guys it's day one it's day one cut me a break cut me a break okay so on to modding gear so like i said epics have two legendaries have two and rares have one greens have zero whites have zero so yeah don't worry about them so here we have three uh, tiers tier one tier two and tier three tier three are exclusive um, to legendary so if you dismantle a legendary you will unlock is tier three mod tier twos can uh tier twos and tier one so it can be on uh rares and epics as far as i'm aware i've got a tier two right there i don't have it unlocked because i'd have to dismantle this weapon to get it here to get that mod unlocked here which would be what i think it's, it's that one right there it's one of these yes yeah, this one right here but so we have two mod slots what you can do here guys is you can apply a mod to either one of those slots. So I can apply it to, well, as you can see, it says place in slot one or place in slot two. Now, if I place, let's go with vampire. If I place this in slot two, it takes over, um, what was it, what was it? Was it this one there? Yeah, toxic bullets, it takes over toxic bullets. Now it cost me 65 iron to apply this. Now, if I apply this guys, mod one will lock in place. I will never be able to change mod one. 
Yes, I'll be able to change mod 2, but not mod 1. I'll demonstrate this for you right here, guys. So we'll go with, um, you know what, it's not really matter because I'm probably never going to use this weapon anyway. So I'll apply it there, you can see. If I apply it, but ba 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 boom, you can see that one there is locked. Now, if I go back to another weapon, I can, I'm in another mod, so I can apply it again to mod slot 1 and lock, oh well, lock it in place. So that's just the way it works. You have to think carefully about what you're doing. If you have a legendary and it's got a great mod on it, but you want to switch one up or add another, keep in mind the one you don't switch out will lock in place. And it's the same for any piece that has two mod slots on it, whether that be armor or weapons. It is as simple as that. Not too difficult to understand, guys. Okay, guys, so we'll now move on to swap variant. So what this basically does is, as you can see here, I have a, uh, I think it's a burst weapon here. I can't remember to be, yeah, it is, it's a burst weapon here. I can switch it out to a standard. It will cost 65 iron. And what this will do is it will increase its clip size, increase its rate of fire, but drop its stability and range, as you can imagine, as well as damage and crit damage multiplier. Uh, again, it will cost 65 of my beautiful, precious, Iron materials. Sharpshooter, I do believe. Let's have a look at another um, assault rifle right here. See if we can apply it right onto this one. I think it makes it like a one shot. Sort of like a. Yes, it does. It makes it like a one shot. So it's a lot more powerful. As you can see, its clip size drops, its rate of fire drops, but it has increased damage, increased crit damage, increased range, increased accuracy, and decreased stability. So, yes, not bad at all. Let's go back to that. And I think it's pretty much the same, guys. So yeah, weapon variant or swap variants, basically just switching up the weapon and what and how it performs. Okay, guys, so on to that leveling up of that weapon. Now, as you can see here, it costs 16 of my titaniums right here to take my weapon up to a level 16. My current maximum level this weapon can be taken up to is a level 17. Now, the reason behind this is it's the world tier that I am at plus my level. So I'm a level uh, 13, as you can see at the top right there, but I'm also a world tier level 7. So if we go into this right here, we can see that a world tier 7, the enemy level is a plus 4. That means that they don't want my weapon being higher than what the enemy level will be. It's just basically a way of balancing it out. As you can see here, this will be an enemy level plus 5. If this was the case and I was on world tier 8, I'll be able to take my weapon up to a level 18. So a plus four on top of my um, level 13 would be an equal a level 17. It's just a way of balancing it out, people. And that's pretty much it. Now, I ain't going to waste my materials right here because titanium isn't the easiest to come by and keep that in mind. But yeah, that's basically how it works, guys. With this, though, we do upgrade the firepower and crit damage and healing received. It's got question marks. You know what? For demonstrating purposes for you guys, because I love you, I'm going to do it. Oh, so there we go. There we go. It did work. It did work. I was wondering what was going down then. I was wondering what was going down there. So, yes, it was upgrading these. I just weren't taking much notice. So, yes, you can see right here that my um, firepower now has gone up to a 775. 15% crit damage and a healing received of 8.66%. So not too bad at all. So yes, that's how it works. And I hope you enjoyed me wasting my shards there just for you guys. I'm pretty sure that deserves a like on the video, people. But yes, that is it in terms of the options for the uh, weapons. Now, in terms of armor, it isn't too much different. Besides, there's no swap variant. And I can't tell you if this will be the case uh, on epics and legendaries. I don't think it will be. I don't think this will be an option. But yes, we can again improve uh, this item. Improve its rarity. It's not letting me do it because I haven't got enough shards. <laughs> I've just wasted them all on that thingy. But yes, you can take this up to an epic and apply two mods there. Uh, same with the erasing attributes, guys. It's got two right here. Um, we've got six total we can upgrade. Uh, we've got the shards, max health shards and status power shards. We can see here how many you have with each. If you want to upgrade, it will take them away. Pretty, pretty straightforward, guys. Uh, mods as well. Same thing as well, guys. I can apply this to... I don't know if I apply this to, will it lock in place? Um, armor, you can see here, also takes the, the leather. It will not take the iron. It's leather only here. So you know what? You know what? We'll put this on. We'll put this on. Why not? So if I mod this, I don't know if it will lock it in place, but we'll learn now. No, it don't actually lock it in place. So we can apply others to this if I want to. So that's pretty cool. 
it only locks a mod in place if you've got two unsaid items so that's good to know that's good to know and leveling up guys exactly the same way level 17 because of obviously my world tier and my character level and it's just the way it works but yes it's relatively straightforward guys not too much to learn here if i'm honest with you but yes that's basically the lowdown on crafting in this game and well i hope the video helps you out i mean i can't believe i leveled up my shit guys took away my uh my, my precious um titanians but at the end of the day this is just a placeholder class anyway i may just to quickly run through it but yes it is what it is but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any further question you can leave a comment down below um i'm probably guessing i will see a few questions in regards to legendaries uh, in terms of swapping variant i'm not sure that will be the case you will be able to level them up you will be able to apply one mod to them and you will be able to i believe raise attributes but we will see well yes guys i hope this video helps you out if you did leave a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one